Alright, so a few days ago, if you've seen a minute video on this Japanese website who makes a list of the top best, current best PvP teams, uh, the, the video is in the top left if you haven't seen it and you want to check it out. At the end of this video, is going to pop in a box for it. Um, and uh, this was their recommendation for the best Assault Mode Rally team. Assault Mally, Blue Drill, Green Zaldris, and Green Marlin in the back with old food. Now, I must say, I don't recall ever facing this in PvP, ever. I might have, and I haven't. I, I might have, I, I haven't, uh, you know, think about it too much. I don't recall ever facing this team. And I need to make a confession. I've already tried recording this video. I played geared, and I got my ass whooped. Um, and I deleted the video because uh, my vibes were off. I was hating on Zaldris too much because it was very incompetent. But um, we're going to try again in ungeared, see if it works. Geared was a complete flop. Like, I was getting whooped in Geared by Merlin and by Ascanor even. Um, so, I don't know. Let, let's see if in Ungeared it will work best. Uh, this week has no Super Awakening. I hope that doesn't affect my uh, my experience with the team. But yeah, if you, um, if you have any team recommendations, please leave me down below. I would love trying them out. Grand Cross right now is in a... A little bit of a, a dry phase, both Global and JP are having dead weeks back to back to back to back to back to back. Um, you know, we had a Arthur release last week, which no one cares about. It's a very bad unit. I mean, not, not very bad, but a very boring unit. Um, so, you know, if you could help me out, leave me a like, or if you're new, a sub, that'd be great. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is best case scenario because I did go second. You're supposed to go second, so you have three ultimate gauge in all of your units. Um, just, okay. We are gonna, you know, be able to get two ultimates here. Not anymore, because he debuffed me. And that completely screwed me. Like, uh, not, I can't go for my ultimate anymore. But... Okay, let's um, let's do this, right? Let's start going for no, no, no. no. Let's go for Liz because I don't want to get my my Mally frozen. I don't want to lose his uh, his buffs. Let's break the shield. Do damage on Liz. Debuff so they can't push ult next turn either. Yeah, the, the issue of going second is that if you face any person that has a debuff for ults, say Zaldrus, Green Galfer, or Emilia, you're screwed. Not much you can do about it. He's attacking me a lot. I mean, he's gonna freeze Mali probably next turn. If I had to guess, he has... Drone's already dead. And I lost my buffs. Well, that's... That's a shame. Um... I don't have any. I don't have. I don't have Mally's passive anymore, because I chose to bring Merlin. Because that's apparently the best Merlin. Um. Oh, I should have done level one first. That doesn't matter. Okay, kill me worse. Um. I have my ult though. That's cool. In the one in a billion chance that he doesn't have a freeze, I could. Pop double ult. Again, in the one in a billion chance that he doesn't have a freeze. Or two freezes, even. I don't have <laughs> Mally's passive anymore. It's just. Nice freeze. No, that's. That's great. That's that's great. Um, In the one in a billion chance that Melee doesn't die next turn, um, could push triple ult. Either he doesn't die or get frozen. So in the one in a, a bajillion chance that he doesn't die or get frozen next turn, I can put I can pop triple ult. God damn, he takes damage. <laughs> this team is so bad. So I deleted the other video because I was hitting on Zaldrus too much, and I hate hitting on units, but I, I have to, I have to say, Zaldrus is the worst fast I've ever released. Like, you can say, oh, King is the worst right now, and I'll agree, but at release date, 
King was the best team in the game. Zeldris is the worst unit I release. For goddamn sure. Now, I can't push double ult because I am gonna have to do this. Thankfully, I got an extra card for Zeldris or else this would be a loss. Um, and we're gonna put this. So, we're gonna do this. See his, see his ultimate. This is the one time Zaldra is good. <laughs> Thankfully. Um, but yeah, Zaldra is definitely the worst a release. Because really, he's worse than Red Zaldra. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I would say. Nice, I'm gonna take now. Red Zaldra is better than Green Zaldra. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna have to hope that he doesn't have a stun. That killed? Yeah. I oh, know it's a single target ultimate, it should kill, it's just that. Uh, again, Zell just. Uh, I just have very, very bad experiences with him. He's good. Level 3. Uh, oh, he doesn't have a stun. Well. What I'm gonna do is this. See, and this is why his passive is so bad. You already have Meliodas, which makes enemies not want to attack you. You're just making another passive that already like doubles down on enemies not wanting to attack you. So it doesn't make a difference, really. So it comes to the point where like my enemy only attacked me once. It would have been how much he attacked me anyways. If I didn't have Zeldris. But it's just like, yeah. He's not gonna attack you regardless. You know? He should have made, had a passive that it was... If the enemy doesn't attack you, he gets debuffed. Or you get stats, right? If the enemy doesn't attack you, he get, you get stats. Right? And then it's, it's like a stacking thing. For each turn that the enemy doesn't attack you, you keep getting stats. That should have been how his passive works. But instead, it's like doubling down. Yeah, if the enemy attacks you, not only they get debuffed, but also you get stats. It's like, yeah, that's nice. It wombo combos with melee, but he didn't need that. We already had Red Zeldris, which already gave from the start 12%. First turn, 12% stats. Because you use, you know, Drill and another commandment, either Derriere or uh, Melascula. So it was like, yeah, that's cool and all. But you're making more effort for something that already existed, if you know what I mean. If, if, if you catch my drift. Probably has dodge food. No, okay. All right. What food does he have then? Might have, might have alt food. And he's not using Merlin. Like a psychopath, like I am. <sighs> Okay, we got my ult. He can't really do much about it. He's gonna get his ultimate. He didn't get his ultimate. Is he is he immune? Yeah, he is. Okay, of course. Um, I'm gonna ult. No, he. I'm gonna ult. And then. Yeah, I'm gonna ult. And then I'm gonna push Melly's ultimate while getting that Drill Petrify. This will lower Melly's and Drill's HP related stats, which is nice. I didn't want to attack because, you know, I didn't want to debuff myself, but... That lowers their HP related stats. Yeah, he definitely had ult food. Because he, he started with true ult to engage, which going second gives you one. And then for me, you know, um, I'm using Merlin, so I get one, and then ult food, so I get another one. So my, you know, the best case scenario for me is going second. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, but, it's okay, because he didn't, he didn't use the blue card. He, um, he was stupid enough not to use the blue card. So he's not immune to Petrify. So, uh, you're Petrified. Yep, he had a clean blue card to use, but he didn't. 
I don't know. I think, you know, no, no I, I never seen someone defend Zaljus, I feel like. So I, I'm not even saying like, oh, people are gonna, you know, dislike me talking shit about Zaljus. I've never seen someone defend Zaljus. I feel like people know, <laughs> like, Zaljus isn't very good. Which is unfortunate because Zaljus is like top 5 ca- No, 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 I'm, I mean, not uh, Zaljus is like... Is he top 5 best characters in some deadly sins? I think, he, I think he's up there. Can I pay? Thank you. Um, I think he's up there, you know? He's one of the best characters in Seven Deadly Sins. Especially if you read the manga, you know, the whole story. Uh, actually, the anime is pretty caught up, actually. The anime is almost done. Um, so you must already know the whole thing with Zaldris, if, you, if you've been watching Season 4. But he's, he's, like, one of the best characters in the series. And he's one of the coolest characters in the series. I don't know, I feel like he should have had his festival be Nebula Zaldris, first of all. That would be so much better than just basic ass Zaldris like we got. That would have been step number one. And true made him like less reliant on your enemy, you know, being debuffed. Because when I first recorded my video, I faced twice a Tarmiosaurus team because Tarmiosaurus is a very popular team right now. See, this is why you use dodge food, right here. This is why you use dodge food. Now, I can't ult anymore for the rest of the match. Nice. Um, nice. Cool, 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 cool. Made him Nebula Zaldris. First of all, because it's just basic Zaldris. The, 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 cool, Zaldris is cool, but like, every fast was a different version from characters that we already have, so should have made him a different version. Like Nebula or something. And I don't know. Made him do more damage. Like, he does decent damage, don't get me wrong. But he could have done much more. Like, he's gonna do damage here. Watch. This is like... Nah, they don't have any debuffs. He needs a little more debuffs. But... He's actually gonna do good damage. Like, watch. He's gonna do good, good damage. Level 3s? The level 1 and 2 are very underwhelming. But level 3? Yeah, the level 3 is very good. The level 1... Like, that card... The whole point of the card is that he can't crit, but based on his own crit damage, he does more damage, right? Um, and the level 1 and 2, I feel like the multipliers are very low for the multiplication with the, the crit damage, but the level 3 is perfect. Level 3 does such good damage. Like, Eskimo had a w 1 debuff, and he did good damage, but I don't know. I'm definitely, I'm definitely a Zaldus hater. So now I don't have melee passive anymore, but... It's fine, because I already... Oh, and I only had three debuffs, actually. Three buffs, actually, but... I don't have this passive anymore, but... I think I'm okay, because I think I am going to kill Ascador here. I should have AoE'd with Melee. I think I didn't have to do another single target. Yeah, I definitely could have AoE'd with Melee. That's fine, though. That's fine. Because Melee is definitely going to be stunned next turn. Um... Melee is definitely going to... Ooh! So, that's an interesting fourth pick there. Blue draw. I mean, he has good CC. Now he's definitely going to be stunned. I have level 3. <sighs> level 3 shield. I'm going to have to break the shield. And debuff. Hopefully this will break the shield. I'm not very positive on it, but I'm hoping it will. Because again, the multiplier is very low. Yeah. Not even close. And she, she can't. Yep. Ah, uh, that's very unfortunate. Very, 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 very unfortunate. Yeah, that was it. I, I, I could have won, maybe, if I did break the shield. But again, the multiplier on the level 1 is just horrendous. Jesus, Merlin! You can't tank for shit! Oh, well, goodbye, Merlin. Yeah. Um, let's play one more. I don't know. Nah. I, I, I don't like the team. I, I, I just don't like Zeldris. I, I, I'll, be, I'll, I'll come out and say I just don't like Zeldris. I think he's an easy skip for global players. Personally, I think he's the worst fast of which you ever release. You know, at release date. Definitely the worst fast of all. Um, 
Chandler is amazing, which comes out of Zeldris. He definitely saved that batch of characters. But Zeldris himself is just so bad. He's so underwhelming for a festival character. Like, you think, oh, he's a festival character, but I treat him as if he's not. He doesn't seem like a festival unit. Like, every festival character is so unique in their own way, and Zeldris just isn't. You know? King has the, the whole, like, debuff thing. Goddess Liz is Goddess Liz. Askenor is Askenor, you know? Um, Lost Vein is the most unique festival, I feel like, because he was the first one. And he really, like, he he was power. Like, he he was the first instant, instance where I saw a unit and I said, this unit is overpowered by himself. Because Blue Demon Mali was the first overpowered unit, I feel like. Like, overpowered unit. But he needed Lilia. Lost Vein was like, he's the most overpowered unit in the game. And there's no contestant. And then, um... Cross is a festival unit. <laughs> Assault Mali, like, bro. He's a salt melee. Like he has his own quirks. He has the the whole like if you attack him, you get debuffed, and uh, he gets buffed. You know, Zaljus is like okay. He takes off her ultimate gauge and he seals your ultimate, and he does somewhat damage. That's all he does. Like I don't even consider his passive. Don't try this team. <laughs>